Okay, so question number 20, and we've got what does it say here? We've got PQR triangle. We want to find out this uh, length down here, PR. Well, instantly, I know this is going to be a cosine rule or it's going to be a sine rule. And we've got both of these um, on the front of the exam paper. So let me just go and get them. Oh, excuse me. Let me just go and get them. I'm just going to pause. Oh, I've just taken the dot of the I. Oh, and then the S as well. Brilliant. So I'm going to just um, pause the video. I'm going to go and take a screen capture of the front of the exam paper, and I'll be back in just a sec. You won't notice the difference, but it will take me a couple of seconds. Okay? And as if by magic, I've just pasted it in and deleted it, and with a little sneaky undo, you will see it appear. So this is from the front of the exam paper. So... I can see that I've got an A, B, C, blah, blah, blah. I've got one version of the sine rule, one version of the cosine rule, and I've also got this thing about calculating the area. So I'm going to calculate. So the cosine rule says if I want to find a side A, it has to be opposite the angle I want, and I have to have the length to the side. Well, that's easy in this, because we're told it's an isosceles triangle. We know that one in there is 8. Done. So if I use the cosine rule, and I'm just going to write it out, so I know that, uh, well, let's call this A and this big A, and let's call this big B and little b, and this big C and this little c. So I know to find out A squared, I've got to do B squared plus C squared minus 2BC multiplied by the cosine of A. So I'm going to write it out again and put my numbers in. B squared, 8 squared, C squared. 8 squared. Um, sorry, the lights have just gone off in the maths office here. Let's turn them back on. Minus two lots of B and that, all multiplied by cosine of 140. So I'm going to just put that whole thing into my calculator. So I'm going to do 8 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 8 times 8 times cosine. 140, and I get 226.053 and it carries on. But I'm not going to leave that to find out a. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that on my calculator, on my answer button, and I'm just going to do this, which is roughly equal to. So square root answer. Oops is 15.03508193. So I need to give it to three significant figures again. So it's 15.0 to three significant figures. And I'm just going to indicate that there. So that's relatively straightforward. Now we could have, we could have used the sine rule. We could have used the sine rule here. So alternative, I could have used a over sine 140 is equal to a over sine of something. And I need to know what this angle is. Well, I know that that's, well, this has got to be 20 and this has got to be 20 because it's an isosceles triangle. It's an isosceles. So that means that 20 has got to go in there. So if I just rearrange this, this is the sine rule, then I can also get my answer um, and I can work out and I'll also get 15.0 to three significant figures. Okay, But I saw that the sine, um, cosine rule was instant straight away. But it's up to you which one you use. You all, there is one third way in which you can use trigonometry, normal trigonometry. So I think you split uh, that down the middle and you say that that is worth 70. And if you know that's 20, you can work out half of this, and then you can double it at the end. Whichever way you want. 